Do you want to know about John Garang de Mabia? John Garang was born June 23, 1945 and died on July 30, 2005. He was a Sudanese politician and leader. From 1983 to 2005, he led the Sudan People's Liberation Army during the Second Sudanese Civil War, and following a peace agreement, he briefly served as first vice president of Sudan from January 2005 until he died in a July 2005 helicopter crash. A member of the Dinka ethnic group, Garang was born into a poor family in Buk village in the Upper Nile region of Sudan. And often by the age of 10, he had his fees for school, paid by a relative, going to schools in Wao and then Rumbek. In 1962 he joined the first Sudanese civil war, but because he was so young, the leaders encouraged him and others his age to seek an education. Because of the ongoing fighting, Garang was forced to attend his secondary education in Tanzania. After winning a scholarship, he went on to earn a BA clarification needed in economics in 1969 from Grinn College in Iowa, USA. He was known though for his bookishness. He was offered another scholarship to pursue graduate studies at the University of California, Berkeley, but chose to return to Tanzania and study East African agricultural. However, Garang soon decided to return to Sudan and join the rebels. Citation needed, there is much erroneous reporting that Garang met and befriended Yoari Museveni, future president of Uganda, at this time. While both Garang and Musivan E were students at UDSM in the 1960s, they did not. Don, just know the name Solvikar Mayurit. In the late 1960s, Kair joined the Enyania in the First Sudanese Civil War. By the time of the 1972 Addis Ababa Agreement, he was a low-ranking officer. In 1983, when John Gray joined an army mutiny he had been sent to put down, Kair and other southern leaders joined the Rebel Sudan People's Liberation Movement SPLM, in the Second Civil War. Garang had little military field experience and relied upon the more experienced Anyanya veterans, including Kair, to actually carry out the ground war. Kair eventually rose to head the SPLA, the SPLM's military wing. An attempt to remove Kair from his post as SPLA chief of staff in 2004 nearly caused the organization to split. Following the signing of the Comprehensive Peace Agreement formally ending the war in January 2005, which he had helped start, he was appointed Vice President of Southern Sudan. Perhaps significantly, former Southern Sudan President John Garin like Kairos of the Dinka people, though of a different clan. After the death of Garin in a helicopter crash on July 30, 2005, Kair was chosen to succeed to the post of First Vice President of Sudan and President of Southern Sudan. Kair is popular among the military wing of the SPLM for his battlefield victories and among the populace for his unambiguous pro-secession stance. Comments by Kair in October 2009 that the forthcoming independence referendum was a choice between being a second class in your own country or a free person in your independent. My name is Rhoda, I'm from Sudan. I am really thankful that Sudan has been divided into two. Throughout its history Sudan has been divided between its Arab heritage, identified with Northern Sudan, and its African heritages to the south. The two groups are divided along linguistic, religious, racial, and economic lines, and the cleavage has generated ethnic tensions and clashes. Moreover, the geographical isolation of Sudan's southern African peoples has prevented them from participating fully in the country's political, economic, and social life. Imperial Britain acknowledged the North-South division by establishing separate administrations for the two regions. 
independent Sudan further reinforced this cleavage by treating African Southerners as a minority group, BBLOD will tell you more by. Another major factor that has affected Sudan's evolution is the country's relationship with Egypt. As early as the 8th millennium BC, there was contact between Sudan and Egypt. Modern relations between the two countries began in 1820, when an Egyptian army under Ottoman command invaded Sudan. In the years following this invasion, Egypt expanded its area of control in Sudan down the Red Sea coast and toward East Africa's Great Lakes region. The 64-year period of Egyptian rule, which ended in 1885, left a deep mark on Sudan's political and economic systems. The emergence of the Anglo-Egyptian condominium in 1899 reinforced the links between Cairo and Khartoum. After Sudan gained independence in 1956, The priority of the people of South Sudan now is to get rid of Salva Kiir's corrupt government stability of our nation, born in July 2011 as a new nation we face numerous challenges. Eastern Equatoria State Police Commissioner Major General Malakrinkire who was killed on Saturday by unknown gunmen along the Juba Torrit Road. General Malakrinkire was killed on June 50, 2012. The late Kier's driver and a bodyguard who was found with his gun have been arrested and are being interrogated over the murder. It is reported that gunmen ordered the late Major General Kyra out of his car before spraying him with bullets. The Eastern Equatoria State Governor Brigadier General Louis Labong. Lajor has conveyed his heartfelt condolences to the late police boss, family, South Sudan Police Service and state residents. He was a loyal, obedient, humble, disciplined and committed officer during his six months of service as police commissioner. He was full of energy, optimism and love for his country, he said. He said the state has lost a great police officer who understood his work. Saying the late Kyer managed to implement government policies in efforts to curb insecurity threats in the state. July 17, 2012 Khartoum at the Saturday meeting in Addis Ababa, South Sudan President Salva Kiir Mariadrit offered financial support and mediation to President Omar Hassan al-Bashir. General, Salva Kiir Mariadrit. Please brother, don't import the forgotten and forgiven history of dark ages. Let me express my bitter inner heart feeling towards my own entire people of Ngak Luyak, although others will misquoted me as a good for nothing person who spy out the inner secret of his own house. Look around and rethink I am not marinating things up. Below are they. Below are they cited. He who will care, cope them, but he who will not, hear through the left ear and flow them out through the right ear imagine and work it out I am not mixing thing up I was once told that you as Ngok little yak are misplaying the politics of the South Sudan I wonder of how we as Ngok little yak of only 1111 section among more than 166 tribes in Sudan are misplaying the politics of the South Sudan at first I do not like I have to defense the blame too much so I terribly keep throwing in my speeches into the classics debate argument but they guys seem to be an old dog who is fully strong and confident of new tricks. So I variously emerge between two to three minute of every five to seven second of my my opponent's speeches. Be signally, as well as remotely defense every single charge upon my Ngok Luyak society. I responded every entire speeches of the letter and words that expels out from my opponent's mouth. Successfully I won. I won the classic debate argument over from my superior opponents. To myself I was wrong. I even knew from the start of my outcome speeches. That I was wrong but my opponent ally could not prove me wrong. He was so inferiorly weak to point out my weakness hence we rated my Ngok Luyak society as an innocent peoples.